Although it's generally believed the movement leans left, the Occupy movement hasn't thrown its weight behind a political party or figure. But now, a Ron Paul sign has appeared at one of the tents, making some occupiers a bit uncomfortable. And there are people coming by, um, yelling obscenities, uh, people t try taking the sign, and we had to go recover the sign. Has anybody here given you a hard time about being a Ron Paul supporter? Uh, every single person I've come across, yeah. I'm here in McPherson Square where protesters have been occupying for more than three weeks now. They preach anti-corporate America and anti-crony capitalism. But occupiers each have their own message as well, and these libertarians think Paul's is a message the movement should get behind. The original Ron Paul Revolution patriots really share a lot in common with the, uh, even what, what are referred to in the media as uh, left-wing radicals and this sort of thing, because they have a lot of, uh, a lot of common ground, they share a lot of common interests. But in true occupier fashion, they're still skeptical of the government. If Ron Paul was elected, do you think that he would help fix some of these issues? That's what I'm hoping. But who really knows? That's the same thing the last four presidents have said. And some occupiers seem to think Republican is a dirty word. No Ron Paul 2012? No Ron Paul 2012. The Paul supporters may have their work cut out for them. Reporting for The Daily Caller, I'm Jamie Coughlin with the Medill News Service.